Hello friends, my name is Vinit. Today I'm going to teach you how to keep track of your laundry expenses in Excel. I already have a sheet ready for you all with different columns and with different linen. Uh, regarding the color and the column, I have shown you, you can see it in my previous video that is the bar inventory in Excel. Here, this is the sheet and right below I have the bill prepared ready for you. And I'll show you how to put the formulas and what this stands for. Now opening balance is the balance that we are supposed to receive from the laundry the previous day. In is the linen that we are getting after washing and out is the linen that we will be giving for washing and balance is the balance that we are supposed to receive from the laundry. Now let's put a formula here in the balance. First we have to put an equal to sign. So balance is opening balance, sorry, open the bracket opening balance plus sorry minus in close the bracket plus out means that is e4 e4 close enter that's your balance so you can see the formula here above c4 minus d4 plus e4 and the next day the opening balance will be again put a formula here we equal to just click on the cell f4 and give an enter so the opening balance is the previous day closing balance now let's drag this formula right below yeah here we go now I'll show you how this works. Under opening balance, suppose we are supposed to receive 10 Indian single batches from the laundry the previous day. So, right, opening balance 10. And on the first, he's brought some batches after washing. Let's say he's got only eight. And now we are see the balance two. Means two we are still supposed to receive from the laundry. And again, he's taken some for washing. So there is taken 5 for washing. So now the balance is 7. So the next day, we have to get 7 single batches from the laundry. Now suppose the laundry guy comes and uh, gives 7 batches. See the balance is 0. Again he has taken some 15 batches for washing. The next day, again it's 15 and so on. Now see this. When I scroll, you can see the top heading also getting scrolled. So let's freeze this top portion by keeping a cursor here in the fourth row, the first column. And let's go to view and freeze frames. See, now when you scroll, you see this heading, it's still, it's not getting scrolled. Now under in, now let's put the formula here right below the total number of in so you go to here go here keep your cursor here go home key auto sum see this from d4 to d34 give enter see 15 after washing he's got 8 percent 15 15 clothes after washing now right below here I have got the bill ready for you. I'll show you how to, in the, this is the uh, name of the hotel, XYZ, the place, laundry outstanding for the month of October 2021. Here we have the serial number. Here we have the description, single bed sheets, double bed sheets, bath towel and so on. Again here we have the rates of each uh, linen, like single bed sheet 10 rupees, uh, double bed sheet 12 rupees, so on and so on. And here quantity, now how can I get the quantity? It's simple. You just put an equal to sign, keep a cursor here, and then the quantity in the single bed sheet, put equal to sign, and click on this 15. Means single bed sheet. See, this is a single bed sheet. So in 15. So 15 after washing. And again here, put equal to sign, and click on this double bed sheet 40. See this. Here. Now here, this is a formula for the amount. It's simple. Press equal to sign, rate, click on the cell, into 
15. Give an enter. See, 115 into 10, 150. Now drag this whole thing below. See, 12 into 40, 480, and so on. Now here, the total amount. For total amount, again, in the home menu, go to auto sum. J43 to J54. See, J43. See, J43 to J54 here. Give an enter. See, 1840. So the outstanding as on 5th is... 1840 that we have to pay the laundry guy. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching my video. Have a good day.